Hello, welcome to Environmental Studies and Conservation. I'm Sarah George, I've been with the college for about four years and I lecture across the land and wildlife qualifications. So our Environmental Studies and Conservation course um, is offered at level two and level three. It's a really great course that has a combination of practical hands-on skills supported by academic knowledge and um, with modules that will relate it to real life as well. You will literally find yourself out there doing fencing, making styles, coppicing, scrub bashing. Um, you might be maintaining two-stroke engines, learning to drive a tractor, all of these practical skills that employers want you to be able to do. This is all underpinned with the academic knowledge um, to allow you to do these things wisely. You'll be looking at ecology, why populations exist in one place and not another. You'll be looking at environmental studies, so what climate change is, the impacts that it has, how the decisions that you make improve things or make them worse in an area. Your soil studies, your plant science studies, all helping you to, to make good decisions. There's modules such as landscape archaeology, where you are looking at how what's gone on in the past affects what's there today. And um, things like countryside recreation. So we're looking at why people use the countryside, how they use it, what the benefits are to them. So physical ones, fitness, mental health, but also what the negative side might be, pollution, rubbish, erosion. Plumpton is a fantastic place to take all of these things on board. Um, we have all of the habitats that you would like to study, not only to get you set up for a uh, career locally, but within the UK, if not internationally. There's lots of different grasslands, including our rare chalk grassland habitat. We have ancient woodlands for you to be investigating and studying. All of this goes alongside our working farm, so we can see how conservation fits in with modern farming practices, which is definitely something to be, be looking at going forward. We have Heathland, which is very close by, um, where you're heading up to the Ashdown Forest and really getting to grips with how that mosaic of different habitats works together. Your workload is, um, it is full-time courses, so we're looking at having you in college three days a week to be taking all of this on. Um, we also ask that you find a work placement where you're taking all of this knowledge that you're being taught and actually using it in a hands-on way with an employer. This means that when you go for interview, you're not only showing the knowledge that you've got, but you've got something there as well that says to an employer, yeah, I can turn up, I can turn up on time, and I can do a good job. So effectively, a reference built into your qualification. The careers that people use this qualification to get into are many and varied. The standard one that we hear so often is working for the National Trust, and that is something that many of our students do. Or they might be aiming for the Forestry Commission, the Wildlife Trust, South Downs National Park, local councils. These are all employers who would be interested in your skills after this course. However, many of our students go on to become accomplished ecologists. They may go on to teach at forest schools. If you want to carry on with your academic studies, many of our level three students find themselves applying for universities across the country and getting successful applications. So hopefully that's told you a little bit about us. Um, it would be lovely to talk to you some more. Please contact our Inquiries Advice and Guidance team if you would like to find out more and I hope we meet you soon. Thank you.